There's nothing really to say. He climbed the ladder to heaven when I was just a child. He had cancer, ball cancer. He fancied a lot, then passed away, all in about nine months. I was only nine. Hands are everywhere. <laughs> That's the other thing I had to have done, a colonoscopy. I wouldn't have minded, really, but all students had to look at my bum as well. <laughs> it's not funny. That's the best dad in the world. He's only 46. You know what? I miss him like hell. I used to go to my mum's and try to be fucking good in that. I really tried. Guess what? Guess what? I used to bake. I used to make uh, cakes and stuff. I used to do little butterfly buns with a smarty on top as an extra. <laughs> she did her best to cover up. I wish she hadn't. I wish we all sat down and cried. My mum told me what it was like to lose two children. So I always felt a bit responsible. I always felt like I had it really hard. You said there must be something funny in the family. There isn't. My sister's at college. She's going to be a doctor. The only funny thing is, is that I'm the thick one. My mum works with infants in a school. She works really hard for us all. I do my best not to be private with her, except I am a touch. Wasn't as a boy. Just got that way as I grew up. I know it hurts her a little bit inside when I don't talk as much sometimes. The thing is, I think you have to have one of your parents pass away before you can sit down and talk to the other one. The trouble is, my dad passed away when I was too young for that to be possible. I hate him for that. No, I don't. Hate him for dying. I know my mum better if you were still here. Shouldn't be that way. Should be the opposite. It isn't. <laughs>